Are we gonna fish for the bass in the same way as they are doing over in the US? The behavior of the bass don't change. You need to keep believing, Sarah. That's a huge one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this learn. Bonjour, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we actually are in Paris, and I am together with Mille Petterjean and Frederic Chollian, and we have a really cool mission today. We're gonna catch uh. a bass. Yes, Black we bass. are, and this place is absolutely packed with ginormous black bass that they have here in France. Yes, we are in uh, Etang de la Basse, it's in the, the Tomb area. So we are fishing uh, Paris Predator Fishing, it's a fishing resort. Really packed with big black bass, big zander and really big pike as well. But today we focus on yeah. black bass. So I think it's time for us to, to get going, I mean we have... Oh, fantastic weather today in this beautiful Paris Predator fishing. So I think it's time for us to get the boat on behind the car and get yep. going. Let's go. On this trip, we also combine the fishing with our business as the lodge hosted our recruiting stage of our first French full-time YouTube after Frederick. Be sure to follow canalgradis.fr to see who will make it to the end. So we just arrived to this huge, huge house. It's like a mansion actually. And you have an open fireplace and there's like six bedrooms, huge kitchen, like big areas where we can like spend time together and it's going to be so much fun to meet all the applicants here tomorrow and I think we're gonna have a great time here. Um, and now we're walking through the hallway and kitchen is here. There's another like common area where you can spend some time and then we have all the bedrooms. In here, the light is following us. We have shower, toilet, bedroom, bedroom with a view. Yeah, and there's more bedroom. Here's Mila's bedroom, here's mine. Um, and two more bedrooms. It's crazy and we're gonna have so much fun. Stay tuned. And now we just launched a boat and we are pretty much ready to go out on the water. Yes. And first, Fred, of course, needs to show a little bit what we're gonna fish with and how we're gonna use it. Because I've never done this before, so I'm really eager to get to know this kind of fishing. And we have a beautiful day. There's no wind on the water, which is okay for this kind of fishing. Yeah, it's going to help ah. because um, since we're going to really go into the tree, into the branches, it's going to allow you with, um, with the light to really see where you pitch your yeah. yeah. So this is really helpful when you start. Uh, try to choose a little bit clear water and uh, a, a bright day. There's so many new things that you need to learn for this kind of fishing, so I think it's better that we... We, we should start now. We should get on the water and... Let's go. I've been watching a lot of like YouTube videos on bass fishing from the US, but I never expected that I could go to France and actually do it. Are we gonna fish for the bass in the same way as they are doing over in the US? The behavior of the bass don't change. Uh, Europe or US, they, mm. they will have the same type of behavior. During the day, we're gonna start deep into the cover because it's early in the day. And today, since we are lucky to have a little bit of sun, despite that we are in the winter time and they're gonna be slow, they're going to potentially rise and put their nose up and potentially get out of the cover. First, we punch our bait down to the bottom, shake it, shake it, let it stand, wait for the bass to turn, go around, sniff it, and then grab it. So it's going to take quite a while, but after a few shake and maybe 30 seconds, one minute of waiting, then extract your bait, go like 50 centimeters, one meter uh, aside and repeat. Today, um, I make you start with the monkey crow and I'm going to put it on uh, this, you know, kind of Tokyo rig. The good thing is this one is going to fall like this and mm, the, lure will... the lure is free. And what I like with the monkey crow also, it's very uh, thin. And so with little weight, you're gonna still punch it and go through the, the cover. So we're basically ready to go and start pitching, right? Yes, let's go. We have the branch, mm -hmm. our bait are ready. We're gonna punch this into the branch. So you don't hesitate, 
you really go inside, drop it to the bottom. With this technique, you need really to be careful that the, the point of your hook with your Texas uh, rig is always inside the bait, that you, you punch it back inside the bait. Just a few millimeters, but that's enough to make sure that you don't get stuck in the branch all the time. Using the 360 more and more, and it's so cool because, uh, uh, of course, we can target the tree on the shoreline, that's obvious, you see them, but sometimes there are some sunken trees that you don't see under the water. And with the 360, you can spot them and you can really get out a little bit and then target those uh, secondary spots. So I see here in front of this tree, I get some uh, kind of rocky place. I'm going to pull down the raptors and try to hold, hold the, the boat outside of the striking zone, potentially. And we're gonna fish carefully in front of the tree, see if we can uh, get some fish. It was uh, impossible to catch a fish this morning. I lost one uh, right in front of the villa. So now uh, we go to a lake that uh, is just next door and that has uh, more tree inside. So we hope for uh, bass again. And now we're gonna fish from the boat that are already here uh, from the camp, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, hot water! That's really cool because you saw them here in the surface and then you immediately put on the top water lure. Yes, yeah, so the baby. But popper time in winter time. That's the future generation. He was born there, this one. There is like this big uh, patch of dirt right here that I'm gonna try. Oof, I just had a... Bring it to me. Oof, I'm bringing it yes. to you. Oh. <gasps> yeah, oh, baby! Yeah. Uh -uh. That's a huge one. Monkey cross sapphire blue. That's crazy. That's a huge <laughs> one. That's yeah. crazy. Wow. Congrats. Thank you. It's yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is the first bass? Yeah, that's my first French bass. Wow. It's a nice one. There she goes. Look what a beauty. I've dreamt about that moment for a long, long time to catch a European bass. To basically make my bass dreams come true. It was a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Fish cross in the brushes. Dreams come true, really. This one took the monkey crow, sapphire blue. This uh, color is so incredible when you put it underwater, especially when it's sunny outside. So just now we get two fish, one in top water, one uh, with, a, with a jig. So um, activity is probably uh, picking up. So now we're gonna go back next to the tree and really try to fish the edge of the tree. We need to be fast because at this time of the year in winter time, sometimes activity lasts like half an hour or one hour. So let's go. This color seems to work very well. And now I'm gonna fish this one on the jig together with my gator bait fisher. And hopefully I will soon have a bass on the hook. Yes, <gasps> yes. Ah, no. He pushed me into the branches again and again and again. The difficulty of getting bass really deep into the dirt is that uh, if you are too slow, they take you into the branch and then get rid of the hook. That's also the reason you need to fish with quite heavy uh, rods, because uh, if you don't really pull on them, they win the game. Yes! <gasps> yes! Oh. Yes! Yes! Come on, come on. Yo! <laughs> Monkey crow. Really cool, Fred. They yes. Seem to be pretty active now. Yeah, yeah. They're active. For this type of fishing, for bass, you really need to think in a different way. You need to picture where your bait is going to really pass inside the tree. Because once you get it 
in, you need to get it out and potentially with a fish. You cannot go over the tree totally, but you can go over small branches that are stuffed because with the weight of the fish we broke. So you have to understand uh, this type of thing and that allowed you not to hesitate and really go deeper and deeper and deeper into the structure. So just like this. Here yeah, I drop it to the bottom between the branch, shake it, shake it, let it be, rest, wait, 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 shake it, let it be, and then out again. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, you need to keep believing, Sarah. Fred is an expert and he has caught one big fish the whole day. Believe, achieve. You know, I went to Germany. We didn't feel anything for three or four days and still the last day I was so yeah. positive. I was like, today is today. Yeah. You need to think, you need to believe every cast, Sarah. It will come. Fortune favors the brave. Nice bass. Monkey crow again. Over jig, monkey crow. A good combination. Get this little green. Now, back to the water. Ah, that's fun fishing. Really going deep into the cover, feeling like ding, 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 ding. It's going away. And then you, for black bass, you really need to delay your hook set. And that's a discipline that you need to have in your head. It's a little bit hard at the beginning, but that's the key. Oh, fish! Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Lift. <laughs> oh my God. Finally a bass. <laughs> this is the first bass that I ever touched in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking this letter. And thank you, Fred. What an amazing guide. I mean, whoa. <laughs> what a crazy, crazy end of the day. Yeah, so much fun and well deserved. Thank you for all the help and for keeping the faith up. And now it's time to let this one go and say goodbye. Now we all caught some bass. It's really cool. And I'm so happy. Bam. Mission complete. <laughs> So it was a struggle to get that fish. It was, it was. It was 42 centimeter, which is super cool. I'm so, so happy. And we've been trying around with the different few colors and eventually we put on this ash color. And I actually have good experience from this color from before when I was fishing for perch on the Fatness Mini. So we figured why not try it on the monkey craw with this hoover jig and voila, the bass ate it like a maniac. So that was really cool, super fun. We came to Paris Predator fishing with one dream. Myself to catch a bass and Sarah to catch a bass. We got what we came for and we are nothing but amazed about this whole location. And a huge thank you to Paris Predator fishing for having us here. I mean, it's been an amazing experience and also huge thank you to you, Fred, for being the best guide ever and taught us so many new things. Yeah, but you are good students. Every time we fish with you, it's so much information, so we're almost getting exhausted, but that's the funny thing about learning and fishing with you. So now it's time for us to wrap it up here. We are soon going out on a new adventure, but for now it's au revoir from Paris. Au revoir. Ciao.